All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight we bring you Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence on PCSX2, and uh, hopefully it doesn't suck it up like it did last time. Here's hoping, beyond hope, that things will go well and smoothly, and the only thing that will happen is that I'll just suck at the game. Because I'm going to be playing it on extreme and doing a non-lethal playthrough, and this is going to be freaking rough. I haven't done this in years, so it is going to be extremely rough. All right, we need to I like Metal Gear Solid 3. We are going to be playing... Oh, should we just go European Extreme? That sounds like it could be fun. No, we're just going to do Extreme. Although European Extreme makes it a little bit easier because then you don't get stuck in After combat the phases. War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. What's up, Flash? How you doing, buddy? So far, so good. What's up, Zero? Hey, Thomas, what's up, man? Um, so we're going to do Battlefront 2 on uh, Wednesday. Zero's playing some party games. Nice. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 3 on Extreme. Like a friggin' moron. This is going to be rough. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? All right. The frame drop is already real. This sucks. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. No, there's no Konami code flash. Unfortunately, that'd be amazing. Cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. <laughs> Snake's like, F you, dude. I want to smoke my cigar. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Alright. Man, I love this game, but this is gonna be friggin' rough. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop I should put out the death counter hatch. in chat. Or make a fail counter in uh, my bot, I mean. That's what I should do. I should make the fail External counter. Temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Oh man, I forgot to start recording. Ten seconds to drop off. So Stand lame. By. Gonna have to re-record this okay. intro. Hello. Green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five. Four. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fail a lot, Flash. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3 on this high of a difficulty in years. Correction, I did play the 3DS version on. I think I played the 3DS version on Extreme a couple years ago. I don't remember anymore, honestly.
Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our FOX unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago... October 10th, 2010? What happened then, Flash? ...asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned spaceflight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. I love how they just adapt history After to their Gagarin own needs in these games. It's so Sokolov awesome. Rocket development oh, snakes jumping. The 10 out of 10. Established design bureau. Perfect tens, I mean. From a lovely that's technician beautiful. to a design bureau. Thing of beauty. That's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. This game has the precursor to Metal Gear Zero. It has the Shagohod. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more. You also get the blueprints for Rex in this one. Research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the U.N.'s Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They, they wanted, wanted Sokolov. To return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? <laughs> At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no oh, risk it. Risk President that Kennedy nuclear gave war. Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me. Tell me in. From my side. Poor Sokolov. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? 
No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it Here appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. These cutscenes will end eventually. Now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at Semi Palatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. They said so Sokolov too much. So big, the <laughs> they really did. To get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. <laughs> they moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance yeah. to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The Have you never played Metal Gear Solid 3 Zero? Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton Surface to Air Recovery System. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two 6-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel <laughs> in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it oh, should take Dr. more Clark. than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. No. Colonel's a different character entirely. Almost start the game. Fifteen minutes in, still haven't touched gameplay. Let's just leave this mask that says U.S. Army on it on Soviet territory. That sounds like a good plan. Wasn't the whole point of this to be sneaky? Gotta use that radio. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to I guess that's to true, color. Thomas. 
You are very Your right. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? Well, you've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful, you might not have a choice. Never mind what flash here. What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Major Tom. <laughs> this will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. Oh, he loses his ten out of his uh, perfect scores from I the uh, landing. Well, you better go back and get Feels it. Feels bad. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress. Oh, that radio. good old action button. You can't risk violating Soviet airspace. <laughs> I, love, I love the dialogue about My control prompts in Metal Gear so much. Climb the tree. Press I'll give the you a action call button. If, I need to talk to you. if you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. All right, let's get our backpack. Feels so good. All right, here we go. And backpack retrieved. <laughs> what the heck is the action button? I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. How can you see that? You're like not here. Weapon, There's no satellites. To take it out of well, your there are satellites, but in the survival viewer, choose weapon not, from the backpack. Like, Real satellites yet. Weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a mark. Anything but school. Anything but school. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you. It's the only thing I don't like about I Metal Gear Solid 3 is it takes like. Equipment. Who's if you actually want the story the content, it takes like half an hour Solo before you can actually play the game. Standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No My one and only complaint with this game. Footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. <laughs> Your presence in <laughs> enemy lunchbox. territory is already a violation of international conventions. Is G.I. Joe lunchbox at that? There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. I don't know, man. Enemy know you're there? This radio is pretty dang advanced. Mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. 
You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. False death? I'm into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long... Why didn't they put the fake death pill back. in his tooth also? Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, <laughs> Who? Who's gonna help me? Who dare help me? The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording... Snake only has data. the one tooth? Dang, he's a snaggle tooth? Well, and she's Friggin' here on the Snake? With me. She... Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. Para medic. As an emetic, it's easy my parachute. <laughs> Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack, for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. Jack a Doe? means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. <laughs> What's your name? Jane She Doe. has such funny movie Very quotes, funny. though. And movie stories, Arrow. But I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. But Frank Yeager? But Speaking she brought him back snakes, to life so he can kill Liquid boss, Metal you? Gear. A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. <sighs> Talk I hate you. the boss. Let me hear your voice. She's such a punk. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Does anyone else find it a little creepy that he knew the exact, like, time but to the minute so of when he last saw her? Teach me. Like, how stalkerish no, is that? I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. Oh, fact, dang, Tom is brutal. Even matter. What's most brutal. He just called spirit. the boss fat, guys. And body so are brutal. Like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are you should on the do an all hanging side, mode run. What the frick is an all hanging mode run? Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield, and politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, they, they figured out a good way to, to stop people from listening and talk I about politics. Told you, Jack, <laughs> I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. Oh, Kojima, we could have done so much better with this intro. I'm so glad the rest of this game is just so amazing. Nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. 
Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. Or the scientist that we forgot to rescue. To He's probably being executed as we speak, as we stand here and brass. sit on the radio. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change Oh my over gosh, time, boss, why? And so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing That is some impressive anything, optimism there, penguins. Love. I love it. I love it That's so much. I need to remember that. Think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me yes, Snake. Zero, we have Snake. seen my face. All right, your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake? You are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Probably Close did, Zero. Combat, probably huh? did. I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty well. Uh, Discord? It's just, uh... I'll be here to help it's like you a new remember. type of chat room. After all, this it's how we always do like our voice chat and stuff mission. during the uh, I'll be community streams. Where are and um, next to the major. just hang out and talk about random stuff. With us by radio from aboard a permit class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is one four one point eight zero. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Doctor Sokolov. Doctor Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. <laughs> it's north of us, Zero. It's north. Commencing virtuous mission now. Oh my gosh, we can move! Yay! Virtuous mixion, mixion, virtuous mixion activated. Oh, I remember playing this game this way. Good times. Made this game so easy when you could do free camera. Like, obscenely easier. Don't walk into the gator's mouth, that's not a smart plan. Just gonna say that now, it's a bad idea. One hour later we could finally play the game. It was uh, 28 minutes actually. Or 29 minutes. You died to that gator the first time you played. <laughs> nice. I shot it in the face. I was like, I know what you're planning, gator. Cap.
Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you choose. This is a face. stealth mission. Choosing camouflage that blends I don't in think I will remember that, Zero. You conceal yourself more <laughs> Time for another 30 minute cutscene, pretty much. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. If you crawl instead? This is why the 3DS version of this game is freaking amazing. Because you can crouch walk. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. Is that really what it means, penguins? Are you sure about that? One with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Hey now, Zero. That's not fair. Whoops, I forgot which buttons do what right now. We're gonna go dressed up as Italy. Oh no, it's Raiden. Oh crap. It was nothing. I don't know what buttons do what. I'm used to the GameCube controls. <laughs> oh crap. That was close. That would have been fun and exciting, let me tell you. Nice, Thomas. Awesome. Oh, I was trying to crouch walk. <laughs> Snake bought the little wimp boy mask from the Halloween store. <laughs> nice. The penguin's mask? Oh, dang. That's harsh. That smile, though, looked like a friggin' creeper. Appointment. This bridge sucks. You just fall off of it for no reason. Like that. Oh, yeah. That was close. I was afraid I wouldn't grab that branch for a second. 
Got a little scared. I'm not trying to get the uh, Caro 10s, uh, Zero. I'm already doing a stealth playthrough. I don't need to worry about the dang frogs while I'm at it. Oh, did I do it? Yes, I did it. Good. If you don't go across fast enough, they come back and catch you right there. So I was a little worried. But things went okay. Which is awesome. Zoom in the cutscenes. Ice strike can't bridge. Nope, no one can bridge, man. The bridge is rigged. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. Yep, I got the goodie under the bridge. I can't see. Place so is a dump. <laughs> Security is pretty tight. <laughs> there are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. Oh man. Holding him in a room I love how they can transmit room video room to me over the radio. Be careful. That Your doesn't seem like currently existing Sokolov technology. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. Hmm. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Sorry for all? being so yes. late. Understood. <clears throat> Beginning my approach to the target. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the fun part. Okay. Let's see if we can nail you. Nope, I missed. HQ respond. No, go to sleep. What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. No, there's nothing wrong. Y'all are just going crazy. Oh jeez, hi. Nobody here. Oh crap, where are you running to? Okay, good. Oh crap. You are right where I want to be. This guy sucks. He sucks. Wouldn't you figure multiple tranks would kill the person? You would think. How do you know what the alert phase is, Major? He was, uh... He used to go out in the field. That's how he knows. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, he fainted right as I got seen. Are you kidding? He feels so bad. Ow! What was that called? Get out of here. Get out of my life. Oh, uh, man, where's everything I want? Here it is. Oh my gosh, turn! Thank you. <laughs> Just turn. Like, apparently somehow they still see me. Happened to stealth mode, the mission is compromised. It's true. Oh, crap. Oh, oh what is my punch button? Oh, get up. There we go. Oh, we're so boned. Yeah, this didn't work out at all. 
was no bueno. No bueno. I took that knife like a champ. <laughs> I've seen cars with better handling than Snake, oh dang. Oh, this is rough. This is going rough. I keep trying to use the Twin Snakes button buttons. Since that's what I most recently played. I'm so dead. Oh crap. Use the latter, please. Wrong button. There we go. Okay, where's the dude that's up on the roof? Not here. Okay, cool. What's wrong? No! Are you kidding me right now? He saw me? Feels so bad. This house is pretty sweet. Um, Discord chat's separate. I can check that on my phone later. I'm just gonna hide behind this box. What are they all shooting at? That guy totally knows I'm behind the box, but he doesn't know how to look around it. <laughs> look at him, he totally knows I'm here. This is terrifying. <laughs> uh, I almost wish, I'd almost rather wish that it was, um, if they, if they spot me, it's game over. I should have chosen European Extreme. UK. What about the UK Flash? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Just sitting here. He Patrol knows. Here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Get me out of here. <laughs> Just get me out of here. I forgot I was trying to go for a, a complete stealth playthrough. That sucks. I need to restart the game. Oh, the UK face paint. You must be so. It means you weren't yelled at for being detected. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. America face I'm paint. A CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the Snake other side is a master makeup curtain. artist. He really is. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to Hey, it's working. They arrive. Right? Yeah, it's working, Stefanos. Um Who's I can't play it at a higher resolution because then it introduces a bunch of bugs, unfortunately. I really wanted to play this game in uh, higher internal resolution so it looked like the HD version. Never heard of him. But oh well. He's a member of the okay. army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. 
Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial Oh man, we're going to finish this cutscene and then I'm going to restart it the and do so far, European extreme. But the failure of his agricultural policies cuz why not torture myself more? <laughs> and on top of that, the tragedy last November, President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing <laughs> Brezhnev and Kosyev well, in his place. The there's not usually anything going on on Discord during the stream. Less of the other guys are talking. Secret weapons research facility, much like this one, OKB812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. <laughs> you and the West know him as Thunderbolt. Not yet, Flash. Not yet. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Just to Their keep me inside. To prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. You sound so bitter about it. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way... The West, the West is really is bad with nicknames. Where did you learn to speak it? A little bit. From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. <laughs> Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Hold on. I need to sit here and talk on my radio in front of you for a little bit first. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokol off to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokol off out of there. A weak signal from a submarine that's underwater in the snow. That makes sense. Oh, this is a fun cutscene. <laughs> Zero got ice cream. I'm a little jealous, actually. So, the stream has been live for 49 minutes now. And I've done about 10 minutes of gameplay, if that. Oops, reception's bad here. Oopsies. Freeze! <gasps> I'll block the bullets with my crossed arms. Yep. I know, how come he can crouch walk in the cutscenes but not in gameplay? It feels so bad. What's up, Crazy? How you doing, man?
You. You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? <laughs> oh, Ocelot. He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? And why hasn't someone shot him by that point? It's not like he was fast. <laughs> He's a drama queen at that entrance. You better believe it, dude. Ocelot's amazing like that. And those ricochets, though. They called me Handgun Ocelot. <laughs> I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it's uh, the grew some sort of fashion uh, faction during the uh, Sokolov, take cover. communist rule. I don't remember exactly what it stands for off the top of my head at the moment, Zero. Are you? Oh, in this part, <laughs> the growl, the growl is so amazing. I don't know what I call that. <laughs> it sounds like a meow. <laughs> what is that stance? Huh. What? That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Neener, neener. That's all right. You can laugh at me. Leave it. Shoot the other one. That guy took an awful long time to fall over. Huh, <laughs> the bullet. Impossible. I'd rather watch him fight them than it be a quick time event, honestly. I hate quick time events. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! I like how he doesn't like Americans, but he's a cowboy. Ah! <laughs> 
how could I lose? I have the meow crew and everything. <laughs> You're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. <laughs> Screw fighting you, I'm tired. That revolves around your com- Oh, I see what you did there, penguins. Have it a way that he would be good with a cowboy gun. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna restart on European Extreme, because... I like to do that to myself, but we're gonna skip all the cutscenes, so it's okay. Please. Um, that meow took a lot out of him. Sure did. This stealth mission has no stealth in it. <laughs> what if you kill Snake now or Ocelot? Then you get time paradox. Bam, there we go. We're going all freaking out. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. But yeah, I'm going to skip all the cutscenes so we can just get right back to where we were. Because I already have them recorded now, so it's okay. I don't have that one unlocked yet, Flash. I don't believe anyway. Anyone else remember how long that took originally? There we go. Even fast forwarding that takes forever. <laughs> exactly, Stefanos. Got to get my backpack. It's where I keep all my pictures of the boss. Ugh. Go. I don't know. I don't think he did know that snake wouldn't kill him. I'm pretty sure he expected to die. Snake, you're...
Um, well, I guess I do have Soviet Union face paint. There you go, Flash. I'm not going to leave it on, because that's dumb for this difficulty, but we got to look at it. Rosslot probably did purposely jam the gun. Guess he was just hoping for uh, things to work out. How did that not get you in the face? There we go. You can talk about things that are spoilish. I don't care. I've played this game like 17 times. I've beaten every game in the franchise, so I mean, for this game, I do not mind if people talk about spoilers or discuss uh, theories. Or any of that, because that just seems fun. Oh, I can bridge. No, I cannot. I cannot bridge. I can't. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Red Mage. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't. Come on, get up. That's a little broken. Probably. Or someone did that Ocelot's working for. Cause I mean, as you know, Ocelot isn't working for Vulgan. Spoiler, they all die. He knew the technique he was using could have made it so the gun would jam St Stefanos. He could have tested it. I'm allowed to see one place in the whole game where the ride mask is effective Camno. Grozny grad, yep. Zero called it out perfectly right there. Supposedly being Your New objective, Sokolov. Yeah, so it took us uh, five minutes to get back here already. When you skip all the cutscenes. Come on, how'd that not get you? Thank you. Alright, let's get this guy. This guy. Oh crap, here he comes. He saw me knock that guy out. Knock him right on his butt. Here he comes. Or not. He's like going so slow to come and check on his buddy. What a punk. What did he say? Oh, okay. <laughs> that place where we meet Granin. Yeah, the scientist. Yep. Okay, come check on your buddy. I just got stung in the neck by something, but I'm just gonna think it's okay. That's alright. Not concerned about it. Okay. Okay, camo, face, splitter. Uniform, squares. Here we go. OK, 
Okay, here we go. Alright, is there a guy over here? Yes, there is. Okay, turned around good. This is exactly what we want. Everything is going according to plan. Okay. I'm gonna stay in this camo, actually. There we go. He didn't like his buddy and he has to check on people if they go down. No, I don't like that guy, but he might have died, but even though I don't like him, um, I'll just go slower. That's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Who's that? Oh crap. CRAP! I pressed back! Why did you go forward? Ah! One fail. There's our first fail. That one drunk scientist. Yep. You'll be back later? Take it easy, Flash. Ocelot deceived us in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. Yeah, no, exactly. Ocelot's a freaking G. Oh geez, what was that called? I want to fail this time. I think I saw something. I think I saw something. Huh. Bring it. Guess I'm seeing things. Huh? Huh? Oh, come on, dude. There you go. Man, two shot everything right now. Freaking sucks. I'm guilty of that whenever my class plays Dr. Dodgeball, the true protagonist of the series. No, it's it's totally true. Like Ocelot was like actually the good guy and you find out that every time you played a snake you were actually doing stuff for the bad guy. It was nuts. Like that revelation blew my mind. Like it really did blow my freaking mind. Okay. So there's a guy over here. Where is he? He's not here. Oh, crap. Oh, no, there he is. Crap. Crap. Oh, crap. Need a scope on that train gun? So do. Here to do what he does best, be a number counter. Yep, we're at one fail. One fail in counting. Where'd he go? Oh good, he turned around. Okay, he stays in the patrol down there, that's good to know. Are you kidding me? That was right in his head. Cheap. Fail two. That was that was pretty dirtily cheap right there though. That was right in his head. Like, I don't know how much more in his head that had to have been. I think I saw something. What's wrong? Oh, he's coming to check on his buddy again. He's gonna go super slow about it. Fail two? There he is. Come on, come out here quicker. Please move faster. Ah, oh, dang it, he woke him up. Crap. I <laughs> get tranked twice. Poor guy.
Oh, man, I wish there was so... I so wish there was a better way of doing this part of the game. Like, the 3DS version made this part faster also. The camo system. <laughs> okay, let's watch this dude's patrol. No, get down! Crap! Crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! That's a fail! That is a huge fail! Yep! Dang it! I'm failing for stupid reasons! I'm pressing the wrong buttons! Fail 3? So stupid! Shouldn't be a fail? Oh, come on now! You gotta give me credit for them headshots. I think I saw so good at this game. Not even to a boss fight yet. What's wrong? No, I don't want to wait for you. Feels so bad. Let's see if we can't nail you on the stairs. Good. Feels better. Oh, I can't believe I pressed the wrong freaking button. Alright. Swear. Swear, we're gonna get it this time. This is our time. Hail 3 pressing the wrong buttons. Yep. That's what's up, Zero. That is what happened. Okay, here we go. Let's see if our headshot will actually count as a headshot this time. There we go, thank you. Makes me feel so good when my headshots count as headshots. Okay, so this guy caught me last time. We made it this far. Yep, there's that guy. Okay, we're gonna try to shoot him in the foot. Why can't I go through there? That trap door. Just push the bed out of the way. Okay, let's shoot you in the butt. <laughs> did you hear uh, Did you hear um um Sokolov scream? That was hilarious. Oh man. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Feels bad. Feels so bad. Feels so bad. What's wrong? Huh? Oh my gosh, shoot him! <laughs> Come on, me, shoot! I can feel that one. <laughs> Things got a little sketchy. It's true.
Ugh, I can't aim lower. Feels so bad. Get down, please, before someone sees you. What's that sound? What was that sound? It was a freaking bird! Give me a break! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a bird. Whatever, we did it. I just just built up the courage to go and do it. He's a member of the army's extremist. Okay, we're back to exactly where we were. Here we are. Think Ocelot was holding on to a mouse trap for some reason. Weirdo. He's a weird dude. I don't remember Volgan from my history books. Revisionist history, Zero. Russia and American wrote him out of history. Oh, it's the board game mousetrap. Okay, that's kind of impressive that he was holding on to that, actually, then. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. So I'll with cutscenes about and we got some of the an hour and five minutes to do the virtuous mission. Or er, well after these cutscenes, more like an hour and fifteen minutes to do the virtuous mission. Feels That's good. What they were making you build. Yes. <clears throat> the Shagahod. The treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. Of course, he so wants to eat mice. <laughs> oh yes, and without support Makes from sense. friendly units, a nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. No kid has canola oil in his locker. It's interesting. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete. Phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the. Shagohot isn't classified as a Metal Gear. It is not. A world War. It's the progenitor. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America. Quickly! They can Take me to America. Quickly. My help. Got it. Let's go. America! BRB for sure, Stefanos. Sokolov's the one designing the rocket propulsion system for it, remember? Mm. A serious question, what do you like about YouTube? Um, I like documenting the way games run in emulators and being able to talk to people. That is basically it, Thomas. I really don't watch a lot of other YouTube channels, but I like hanging out with people and I like documenting 
Emulation. How come I can't be as good as Sokolov with crossing this bridge? I don't know, dude. Snake's got an inner ear problem. It makes the bridge kind of hard to traverse. And Sokolov can hold on to the handrails, whereas Snake cannot for some reason. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov handrails. Comes with me. It's my final answer, just handrails. Sokolov, before we go, let me give you a bit of a touch-up. You're kind of killing my camo dog. <laughs> Serious. Dude, she killed everyone on the submarine and just came on land. Hornets. How did we not hear that hind before it was directly on top of us? Had to get off that submarine reception was terrible. <laughs> it's true. I don't know which version of the hind it is, Zero, but I don't think it's the D. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Oh, the Welcome end. Back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. <laughs> Major, what's a Russian helicopter doing here? It's raining blood. I mean, I know we're in Russia, but what's it doing here? Is he crying? The sorrow stuff is so weird. And what does that mean, dude? What does that mean? And how are you conducting electricity onto wood? Wood does not conduct electricity. Must be the water from the rain. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. She would have had tons of receptions. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. I have no idea. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. <laughs> you like mousetrap? You got a good surprise for you, Snake. <laughs> oh man. One of your disciples. Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. Too pure. He is not yet found. Can you guess who? It's a, oh no, that. not guess who. What Anything but guess about? who, penguins. Anything but that one. Think you can pull the trigger? He never gave me a recoilless nuclear warhead as a gift for being a Patreon. I don't know, Zero. I think I'd need to have about. 6 million Patreons to be able to afford that gift. Oh, that's so nasty. He's seen my face. <laughs> what does it matter if he's seen your face? You're a Can't known public me. figure. Like, he's literally a known public figure in the army. <laughs> Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. Getting beat up by a woman minus one man card? Oh, dang. <laughs> Zero's too pure for one, it's true. Wait. He's my apprentice. They act like the gun is real when they all know it's not. <laughs> Jack, 
You can't come with us. Why are you trying to accept her help when she just broke your friggin' arm? Look how he just grabs her hair. I'm just gonna grab your hair. That's such a good move. The new blood has been rejected. Probably the most dangerous place in the game to fight. No joke. Reverse arm bending, yep. Welcome back, Flash. Are we done here? There goes Ice Strike with his bridge now, falls again. Oh so man. Bridge fails. <laughs> that bandana is going right next to my boss shrine, yep. Minus two man cards. Oh dang, Stephanos. That's harsh, dude. So harsh. Drift away. My place is with them now. Quick, keep calling him on the radio. like a part where you can like see the sorrow right here I don't know if I have or haven't seen it before <laughs> these numbers seem skewed zero they seem so skewed snake can you hear me yeah just barely Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just Plus one man card for fixing himself. <laughs> Pulling his arm back into socket. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. They really have Psycho Mantis on the plane with them, just telling them everything that's going on. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button. I don't know about Magic the Gathering Penguins, but I'm always down for some Pokemon cards. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone, and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone Thanks fracture, for that follow, Psychotron. Area with a Hope you, you have fun watching me fail at Metal Gear Solid 3 on a uh, European Extreme Difficulty. You'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. This is exactly how medicine works, Zero. I do this every time I get hurt. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Look at Snake. Just dead on the ground. Oh, there it is. So that's the Sorrow's body right there.
I love how you don't need to do this in any order whatsoever. Whoops. Didn't mean to use that. <laughs> That's a good point. It is a time paradox if I fail. Treat those wounds. <laughs> Your mom hates Pokemon cards. How sad. Repeat that again. I missed the first part on how to use medicine. Uh, first, we got to pull up our tablet and then use it to push uh, places on ourselves. It's actually really kind of creepy. You're just playing with yourself on the digital screen. There are more than one free Eurasian ace on ace combat four. Would make sense. Only if you're prepared to spend all your money on Pokemon cards, Stefanos. Only then can you really collect for it. Good job, Snake. What happened to my shirt? I ripped it off. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery. Just ripped it right code. off. Can you set it up? Waterproof radio, yo. Didn't need to rip my pants off. I ain't cut down there. Shago hard. The Shago hard looks so stupid. It's got such a big butt. True, he does rip him off in Peace Walker. And in Metal Gear Solid 5. They're just pretending to air hold hands, it's okay. He's like a kid at Christmas opening his presents. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. You need to advance your civilization to the nuclear age. Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. The guy with the bulge eyes? Um, are you talking about the end? She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. KGB. We may be able to use her. Dude, just wait until later when Ocelot's totally uh copping a feel. She has spunk. It's Sokolov's other woman. His side woman. 
Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. <laughs> it won't be me that pulled the trigger. <laughs> I know exactly what you were talking about, Zero. I do not look forward to that part. Remember the Alamo. Colonel! I was definitely am not looking forward to that part. How is he still standing if he was that close to the blast? Question mark. No, neither one of them expected him to fire the nuke. That was something that was not planned for. They were planning for him to hold on to him. So that way when the boss could complete her mission, um, she could steal him back. But... Then he fired one, and that's why they had to send Snake in for Operation Snake Eater, and why they had to sell out the boss. European Extreme, this is nuts. If he didn't fire the nuke, um... The boss would have stayed undercover until she could have found the location of the Philosopher's Legacy. Um, she would have then taken the Legacy back to the U.S. and gone back to the U.S. with the nukes and the Legacy. And they would have kept uh, they would have kept Snake like in prison until she finished her mission, so he wouldn't tell people that she defected because it was all a ruse. Or they would have told him that it was all a ruse and still kept him like locked up on base. But you're so supreme. You're so supreme. <laughs> I give my life, not for you can't have him spreading the word around that the boss defected because then she can't really come back to America. This is the greatest song ever made. Semi Kappa? All those cutscenes before the title name. Yup. We are an hour and 40 minutes into the stream and we finally got the title scene. <laughs> Someday you feed on a tree frog. I love it so much. I don't have a PS3 available right now, Flash. Otherwise, I probably would. And I would do two also for good measure. Oh, this was totally stolen from James Bond. The whole game's feel was stolen from James Bond. I could still do, uh... I could still do Metal Gear Solid 2 at some point, since I have the Xbox version accessible. It's not the best version of that game, but it works. It's a uh, it's a theme for the video. Like you know how all the 007 movies have a theme that they keep repeating. I'd love to see me do MGS2. I would 
I would honestly play MGS2 on a, on a very easy difficulty, Zero. That is... While I don't enjoy the storyline all that much, until after 3 had come out, like, it is honestly probably the most difficult Metal Gear game. Metal Gear Solid game, I mean. Like, Fat Man and uh, Solidus are just evil on higher difficulties, and Vamp, ugh, don't even get me started on Vamp. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Yeah, I seriously do believe that Metal Gear Solid 2 is the hardest of the Metal Gear Solid games. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. I plan to do a playthrough of all the Ace Combat games eventually, Flash. Like maybe right before 7 comes out, do a playthrough of all of them. Because I got a flight stick now, and I would love to play them all on the emulator with the flight stick. I was playing around with Ace Combat 5 of it the other day, and it felt so dang good. in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world. Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. I went through and did, um... Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. I said, more like I, an interrogation. I, if I said Metal Gear Solid According 7, them, I meant I'm Ace Combat 7, but... To I have no idea what I said. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Um... Does that mean they're after yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2, man. The game is rough. Just, one I of us is beat be that on hero. every difficulty and got this every dog tag on my 360 version, and... Oh, no. it's so bad. This box is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its neck. <clears throat> what are you talking about? The situation has changed. we still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. Oh man, giving us the good stuff in the hospital. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson. Love to see me fail against yes, Pixie. I, I slaughtered you, Pixie. It was a hotline call. Even though he had the Falcon, President I slaughtered him. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, okay B754 was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that the appeared to come from one sheet. of your military aircraft. Alrighty then. Does any of this not, sound not sure about that one, Stefano. In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert. Oh, I'm so concerned about boss fights. Armageddon. I don't know how I'm going to do. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power eh. is not as great as it once was. If What's I up, Liquid Gamer? How you doing? This crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that one I, of I understand our soldiers now. defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a group colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. <laughs> I love how they manipulate the so much her of history for their Alice. own good here. She's a living it's so legend. cool. I love it. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know How come I never heard about the boss in all my World War II history lessons? The boss, or research. The mother of your Dang revisionist history. Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. 
Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest <laughs> condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the box, <laughs> Poor with both. Colonel Volgan's help, stole two experimental it's not real nub. and took them with her as gift. That's, that's the defeated. joke, Flash. Then, that, that's the joke. shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? I like yes, how they're giving correct. us flashbacks of and the cutscene we literally just watched like 10 minutes ago. In the There's so many cutscenes, they think you might have already forgotten what was in the We're previous cutscene. Anyway. Then what was a US military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover oh, the remaining nuclear device. Apparently there was a plot to assassinate the French then president that I just got broken up? That's interesting. Prove, your innocence. prove our innocence. Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. What's up, uh... About a little co-action. I would not expect What's up, Kratos? How you doing? You. The political situation Can't sleep now, but I'm getting stay. tired. That's too bad. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction. We know what happened. Thing one, boom. Can we move on? Nah. We gotta have at least have another 20 minutes of dialogue, week. Stefanos. And if it is not too much this is Metal Gear, after all. something about Volgan as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm making fun of the game so much, but it's still like one of my all-time favorite games. Probably why I'm making fun of it. What if we can't? Because I've seen all this stuff so many times, I just really want to skip all this, but this is all for documentation purposes at this point. They will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. That's why you're so hard on Zero. <laughs> that was awesome. One capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Nice. There's only uh. Are the Russians going to be helping like us? Three second delay. The KGB has promised to lend their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it. They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated <laughs> Vulcan's ranks. So Zero's really a girl. Also arrange for him to provide you with an escape route. Give you Snake a real gun this time. When you get there. I'm doing a non-lethal playthrough, so a real gun's not gonna do much for me, Thomas. I'm doing this as like overly complicated as I possibly can. Highest difficulty and totally non-lethal. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. <laughs> it's fast. 
Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Really, Zero? Really? About to lose it. You've heard penguins in voice chat and you think he's a girl? No, I don't remember any of the music for Mace Combat Zero and Zero, unfortunately. Probably gonna fall asleep later, usually I fall asleep when I stay up all night and then the next morning I'm very tired fall asleep. Sounds like a productive use of time, Kratos. Can't sleep, might as well play Xbox. I, I love that philosophy. Nice, dude. I am not musically inclined towards instruments. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. I like how we're in the exact same area we were, oh, Find out like, in the last mission, Shagahod. so shouldn't this whole place then be, like, deeply it. irradiated? Finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know. You are that today. Was Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Major I'm Tom. My code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? He jinxed us. Well, he jinxed is, us so much. Code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one. Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But, but you're old and you forgot which one was the, the right tunnel? One. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky Can you imagine if he had called himself Major Harry? The Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. Because this is all so necessary information. Hmm. <laughs> you know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. And everyone would shed a tear for Dr. Clark not being able to practice medicine. 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well. Okay, I had a bit of fun with the names. That frequency is also the same. 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest... Friggin' DARPA chief. ...equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. <laughs> He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? 
You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area has been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear go, go, blast. Dick got destroyed. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are, who the, are patriots? the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this. Lali Lule Lo. Be careful. Oh, it's crap. Easy. <laughs> I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. Give me the password. Circumstances are different this time. That's wrong. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. To the Khrushchev regime, at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Commenced. How will I know it's him? It's the only other person there. This is also a very good point, Thomas. Like, seriously. Who else would be here? So there's actually a frog, like, way back there, backtracking to, like, a different area back there. And you can no longer get it once you drop down here, but good thing I'm not going for frogs. I just thought I would, uh, mention that. Because it's kind of cool. There's a horse. <laughs> it was probably a dirty like Harry. Wasn't ready for you yet. Boss, that arm still hurt? What are you doing here? How come she can't- how can she do that without tools? That's what I want to know. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. Let me lower my car to check it out. <laughs> you don't have a prayer <laughs> He's not a good sneaking mission person, armed. okay? He's so bad. Getting wrecked so good. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. <sighs> Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. I love how the bullets just like get shot out sideways. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? 60 miles south. I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? 
Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? Best quote. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. She just sits there and like belittles him so much. And there's a broken hand. I'll kill you. Now, go home. Oh, I just got verbally and physically schooled. I better get on the radio. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're <laughs> feeling. It's hard for me to I believe couldn't tell. Did she want him to go home? I don't know, the man. Would go over to the Russians. He may break his bones, but the worst the broken thing after that is his broken That's heart. Is, and if you don't accept it, yeah. You'll never be able to beat her. It's really depressing, That's penguins. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. <laughs> In terms of technique, he'll never You've beat got her. got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Yay, fun times. What the hell is this? Come on. Hold on to them uh, stun grenades. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Now I know who wears the pants in their relationship, okay. right? Intruder, commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Crawl, 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 crawling away. Oh, I don't remember where the guard is here. There he is. A couple of them. You think being wearing pitch black clothing and face paint would give me some camo for just standing? Insert clip of boo. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's that guy. No 
remember him. Okay. So black face paint gives me actual camo, which is interestingly enough. Interesting enough. Okay. Oh no! Fail four! Fail four. Feels so bad. Okay, here we go. Ugh, what I wouldn't give for some strafe crawling. Oh, this is gonna be close. Huh? No! Oh, yes! Oh, he's a moron! Oh, that was close. Boss fight ending, me machine plays in background. How come he can walk that close to the edge and not fall off? That's what I want to know. Okay, here we go. Let's get him off the bridge before I make him fall to his death. I really don't want that to happen. We're trying to be non-lethal after all. What'd you drop? Weapon. White phosphorus grenade. Dang. Okay, here we go. I can bridge right. I did bridge right that time. I only came down here to get stuff. I got the raindrop uniform, which is very important later. Alright, so... So far, so good. Oh, crap. Oh crap. Who woke up? Time to bail. It's my favorite move in the whole game. Just grab them and toss them on their face. Are there even any guards here right now? I don't think there are. There has to be though, because there's an alert. Or caution. Oh, there's nobody here. Oh, there are people here. Holy crap! Well, I just got as lucky as you can get. Just ran right in. That was awesome. A 
I should have put on better face paint for the Sorry, I'm late. for the cutscene. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me. Who are the Patriots? Get down. She holds her gun gangsta style too. No, it doesn't. Now, who are the Patriots? You're not my contact. Blow his head off. That music that starts playing, though. I know it'll make him trust me. Let me pull my bra out. <laughs> Snake's actually really bad at espionage. <laughs> Snake will look until he gets something else to look at. What's your code name? That isn't Snake. awkward. <laughs> Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Where's Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam, Adam wasn't the right Adam. person for this mission. Come out. Were. Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union. Yep, that's exactly what happened here, Stefanos. Military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. There's no reason we should be trusting this chick, Zero. Snake's just a freaking moron. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? I want this gun. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. You mean is uh and the interlock with seduction talk about talking about precision. weapon parts? The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armor. <laughs> it probably used to belong to one of your officers. And there are more where that came from. Basically, Thomas. <clears throat> you had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? 
at the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. She wants me to go in the rear. Oh dear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. Oh dear. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping. The stream has devolved. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife. Because the they won't recognize your face. The gun steady. It's so weird. I'm that too way, pure. <laughs> I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Oh, whenever I get to doing the Metal Gear Solid 4 playthroughs, we're doing the photo shoots, boys. Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it. My orders are to provide you I'm the map. 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 You look disappointed. Yeah, when you beat the bosses in Metal Gear Solid 4, you can do photo shoots of them instead. <laughs> you don't even have to fight like the second half. You can just do a photo shoot. And they'll just die. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. <laughs> Snake with those moves. Oh yeah. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? Oh, here's the radio. Right, Snake. They're all listening in to this girl hitting on me, man. I feel so awkward. You really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. It's <laughs> so much fail right there, Stefanos. Depending I love it. How long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best hmm. thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a, a nap. Pleasant. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's alright, man. No one can. No one can type. European Extreme! Ugh, oh, why is there on-screen display stuff? No. Garbage. Yuck. Watch this creeper. Why is she like putting on pants like right in front of my face? Like Snake's view is like so much more zoomed in than the other view. Snake's got binocular eyes. What's the matter? We're surrounded. We're surrounded. I see four of them. Well, 
We're surrounded. I know they're in one direction from us. It's the Ocelot unit. <laughs> oh, we're surrounded, but Hurry. let me uh, let me look down your shirt real quick. Don't forget your gear. Snake is such a perv. Here, give me a hand. We can use this to get to the basement. Damn it! A lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. It's funny because my strategy involves jumping down there with her. Mm. Ten enemies. Got it. We do not want the 1911 out. Put that crap away. Pull out our Mark. 22 and then tree bark let's do tree bark it's a lot less uh, eye grating than the stupid bricks camo is They go over to check on their buddy and then they remember that their program did not care. It's hilarious. Okay. Where's the next two? There he is. Hold on. We're surrounded. There are four of them. Snake guys are not up there. <laughs> It's true. It's so gross, Snake. Such a perv. What? Not here? What? It's not here? Did we lose him? Keep looking. Did we lose him? Move! Climb! Climb! I'm pressing the action button! Oh no! Feels so bad! Okay, here we go. Okay. Move. No! Too slow. Dang it. Ah, I was gonna try to chuck a stun grenade out there and see what happened. Just do that from the get go this time. Crap. <laughs> Did not work the way I wanted it to. No, I don't want that gun. Do not want that gun. Crap. 
crap. I just did it again. Crap. Run. I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't. Oh, good, 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 good. We got a couple of couple of uh, knee shots in right here. It's good. Bring it. Come on, guys. Bring it. Six left. What? <laughs> Come on. I'm 12. My imagination. <laughs> oh, I'm so 12. I have horrible camo index right now. This is not good. That's who I need to get right now. Okay, you're gonna die. Just my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. No, no, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so I've got three left. I took out the guy on the roof. He's the one that usually spots me. You're black. <laughs> Okay. See what do we got here? Three left. It's not up there. Nope. Nope. Where are they? I wish I remembered. Okay, let's go. Oh, someone saw me. Okay. Oh crap. Turn. Oh. 
Oh no! I saw him split second too late! Feels so bad! You're back, what did you miss? Um, nothing. You've missed uh, two fails. So we're up to six fails now total. Yeah, six fails. What's wrong? Yeah, you missed fail five zero. <laughs> the one I just failed right now was fail six. Oh, I'm blind. Come on, someone please come and investigate the loud boom. What? Right in the top of his head. No one else is going to come and investigate the loud boom? Oh crap, you can't fire your gun unsilenced apparently. Uh, there was fail 7. That was lame. <clears throat> I was just trying to draw people to me. That's all I was doing. Did I get anybody with that? No? Just blind them? That's lame. Where did he go? I literally just blinded them. Oh, that's bad, Stefanos. That's that's gross. Okay. No, 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 no. Not that gun. I should really take out these guys first. They're still here. They're not still here. It's too bad. Yep, we're at seven now, Zero. Failed like a champ right now. Oh, where's number two that's usually here? Dang. I screwed up my whole pattern. Bet you smell like a champ too. You know it, Zergling. What's up, man? No! How did he see me? I'm so blended in. Bell 8. You know someone's cooking is bad when you puke trying to eat it. Ugh. That is bad. Come on, get in. Oh, what the heck was that? Fail nine? He kept running forward. Just get in the hole, please. That's what she said. Nine was a dumb fail. 
All I'm gonna say about nine. Dang it, that went nowhere. Nothing? Really? Suck. Where can you be? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, that was stupid. Gonna try something extreme here. Failing to easy boss battle, yep. No, uh, literally no, um, argument for me on that one, Zero. Uh, I should not be having a difficult time with this as I am. Oh well. Part of the fun. Am I using a controller? Yes. Yes, I am. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Excellent. Come on, open up the door, thank you. If only I had the stealth camo, right? This is true. Okay, shoot you in the butt. Okay, so five. How come you haven't fallen over yet? Did I not actually hit you? No, I did good. Okay, so we're at back down to four. One's on the roof, so there's only three left again. Okay. Three. Nothing. Hey, okay. need this guy on the roof to go bye bye. He's my biggest threat now. Use a box in the jungle, right? Oh, 
There's one. Oh, there was the other one right behind him. Oh, dang it, I wasted that bullet. That sucked. Okay, we got him this time. Just need to worry about that dude on the roof. Okay, roof man, it's your turn. Oh, there he is. See his rifle. All right, we'll just let that take effect on its own sweet time and call that a game. This would be so much easier on New Game Plus, right? All right. Any day now, Mr. Sniper Man. Thank you. We done it. Hooray! All right, now I get to see Ocelot being a creep again. I've been waiting for this moment. Look at that wonderful gun he got. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see. Dude, you I do not single action army. I do not have That's the right. core strength to do the solid no snake snake stance. Time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. He's into knife groping. Graving gives yeah, no I'd say that's weird. Whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Oh, calling him out. We'll see. How she manages to do this flip is beyond my knowledge of physics. That thing only carries six shots. Ocelot is Adam. Eight. <clears throat> you have to get Snake did meet up with Adam. Have left. This is a high class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn. This isn't over yet. Them hand movements, though. Don't. Why? He's still young. 
You'll regret stopping me. Will I? Damn Will it. I really though? Got to get back before he does. I don't know where I'm going. Got the zombie face paint. Rob Zombie? Probably. Rab Zombie. Beware of alligators when swimming through a freaking pond? Oh, there's so many. Oh, get away from me. Here we go. Come on, just run, slosh through the water. Just slosh through it. Oh, there's an alligator right there. Hi. Just walked right into your mouth. See ya. I see a sneaker, sneakerson. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. <laughs> Why would yeah, the leeches suck. That? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I don't. While you are talking, a gator Try attacks me. you. Yeah, seriously, Thomas. Like, universe. we're just sitting right on the beach. Universe. Like, what's keeping the gator from just being like, hey, look, a stationary meal. Easiest meal I've had all day. It. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position. A difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize... Oh my gosh. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Oh, the, Are you so lying? deep. Who knows? It's so deep philosophy the right there. Falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. 142.52. How fun. I really don't want to activate the trap. And crawl under it. Why can't I move? Thank you. A leech.
Okay. Oh, this part, yes. This part's glorious. The dogs. The dogs. Oh, there's claymores here, that's right. I can see them. Why am I stuck? Why can't I move? Thank you. That was weird. Not sure if I ever knew there was a hole in the fence right there. So a guy said, huh, to the dog getting tranked. Question is, where is he? Okay, you're coming to check on the dog. And you took the most unnecessary route to do it. Dang it. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Control here. Dang it. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Fail, fail, fail. Made my life harder. Made my life so much harder. Yeah, yeah the dog woke up, dang it. Ah, oh, stupid dogs. Dogs are the worst. Uh, 11. That was only 11. <laughs> How did that not electrocute me? I'm not gonna complain. Yep, that was fail 11. I'm gonna clear this room and then probably call it for the night. Oh no, wrong gun. Why am I going backwards? Stop! Oh my gosh. I was trying to move forward and I was going backward. That was fun. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no matter what you do, you have zero camo up here. There's nothing there. Take it. Uh, 
Oh, dang it. The dumb dog woke up. Drop down, please. Okay, that's better. Now we need to get out of here before the dang dog wakes up. Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, you're just seeing things. That's right. Okay. Got past the stupid dogs. That feels good. Alright, here we go. Good cover. Good cover. Just to shoot a couple of you in the butt. Is that a person? Way the frick over there? No? See you up there though. Jeez, you're gonna wake him up. Just my imagination. Man, it sucks. Blew through all my ammo. Feels so bad. I literally just did blow through all my ammo like a moron. Oops, and I didn't dive. I ran into it instead. That felt good. Felt so good. Why am I stuck? There we go. Thank you. Where's the hole in the fence? Here it is. Oh my gosh, so dumb. Done so dumb, so much dumb stuff. I regret life decisions. Uh, stream on Wednesday, it's... I go for the 9 p.m. Eastern. Oh, crap, dog. Ow. Run. Oh, crap. I'm so gone. Yep. All right. That's lame. Okay. Oh, man, my neck. What's going on? Snake. Saving the game, Snake? Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about um, so yeah, I'm gonna call it there for tonight, and pick this back up tomorrow. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling. So I'm gonna send everyone over to Hoshka. It's just make Cause that sounds great. That's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. 
Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating yeah. everything. If everyone could go and check out uh, it was originally a Japanese movie. Hoshka's channel. An American version too. That would be amazing. He's uh, streaming right now. It's mostly Doing mindless, some Halo 5 speedruns. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Or... No, wait. No, 9 p.m. Mountain. 11 p.m. Eastern. Or 8 p.m. Pacific. Whichever is easier for you to get your time bearings on. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching. Too, yeah, once the save's done, I'm gonna be cutting. So if paramedic would just stop talking. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit snake. Have a little fun. All right. Awesome. Alright, take it easy everybody. Have a good night.